Hello guys and welcome back to coding the Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. Uh, so right now we have done a whole bunch of work. We have all our game logic in place and now we just have to visualize it, visualize it somehow. And the way we're going to do that is uh, with Gosu Gaming Library. Uh, so what you have to do to get Gosu installed is just go to your gem file here, write this gem Gosu and uh, just run bundle to install it. I have already installed it, so I won't uh, do that right now because it takes uh, some time and it's a dead time when you're doing tutorials. So I have skipped that process, but hopefully you know how to do that. So now that we have our 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 Gosu gem installed, let us begin um, creating the visual output for our game. Uh, the way that uh, Gosu library functions is uh, you have to create a new file. Let's call it Gosu Game of Life RB. And in this, let's say Gosu file. And within this Gosu file, we're going to have whole logic um, for our visual output. Okay. This is uh, this file is going to contain everything from from the size of the window to the color of the live cells. Okay, uh, so the way we're going to do that is maybe confusing, but if you go to the to the Gosu Gosu um, on GitHub, uh, you can see right here on the right hand side you have getting started guides uh, for various operating systems and you have tutorials for for programming languages. And right now I'm checking out the Ruby tutorial which is what we need. And uh, this Ruby tutorial I encourage you to read uh, everything here uh, to understand exactly how go Gosu functions. Mm, and yeah, so le let's get down to business as they say here. Mm, the first thing that you need to, to do in a Gosu file is you have to require Gosu, okay? Similarly to how you require our spec and, and that kind of stuff. So after that, let us just follow the tutorial. It says require Gosu, but we have to require an additional thing here. And that additional thing which we have to require is this game of life file, because that file contains all our logic, okay? So we're going to write require relative um, game of life or B file. Okay, so now we have included that file and let us proceed to the next thing. It says here that we have to create some class and call it some somehow we would like. Uh, let's say game window and that class inherits from the Gosu window class. And at the end um, we're going to call that game window and show. And what basically this game window does is um, it opens a new window in which your game runs when you call uh, Ruby, uh, when you call from the terminal something like Ruby goes to game of life. Okay, right now nothing happens because we haven't specified nothing within our goes to game of life file, but eventually when we complete it, when we run this command, our game is going to run in a window. Okay, so let us do that. Let's write class and let's call that uh, game of life window class, and that class inherits from goes to uh, window class. Okay, let us end that and check if we have written it correctly. Oh, we have, and now let's examine what is exactly within this within this class. But before that, let's just let's just uh, write what is on the end of a file here. Uh, it is basically the initialization of this game world class and then calling a method called show on it. So let's do that real quick. So game of life, not life, <laughs> life window new dot show. Okay. And let us just run our, our 
or command here to see what has happened. Okay, so um, it has, it says that it is a wrong number of arguments, uh, 0, 4, 3, and that is because this Game of Life window a class expects these three methods uh, called initialize, update, and draw. Okay, so let's just write them and then go each and every one of them and, and examine what they do. So we have define initialize. Sorry for this horrible Russian spelling uh, deformation I have. <laughs> um, okay, so define update and define draw and that's that's it so let us run our ruby thing here and we have uh, an error saying that we haven't uh, specified this 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 basic information within this initialize method and what we have to specify here is a window size this is a width and this is a height height of a gaming window and this false thingy here just specifies if you want your game to be displayed in full screen or not and since we do not we would just like some false and this self caption here is just uh, just a title of your gaming window so let us just write this and this super means that it inherits from from gosu gosu window class uh, okay so let us just just complete our um, basic code for initialize method so let's call super and let's have a window of a size 800 600 we don't want it full screen and we would like to have a caption uh, saying our our game of life okay and right now when we run our Ruby goes to game of life command we are going to see a our gaming window which we have specified we have our caption right up here and our window is 800 by 600 um, and right now nothing happens within that window but don't worry we're going to do that in our our following tutorial uh, so now that we have we have our basic gosu file we are very happy and um, in the next video we're going to expand on these update and draw methods so see you guys in the next video